Here's the man who's put the cruiserweight division on the map in WWE. The soul of WWE's cruiserweight division. The following contest is a fatal five-way match. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Cedric Alexander. The man's got hydraulics in his legs and dynamite in his fists. Cedric Alexander is fun to watch. Hey, Cedric Alexander, no doubt one of my favorite superstars. Well, I gotta admit, guys, I kind of wish that whole relationship deal with Alicia Fox would have worked out. Oh, look who's here! I can barely contain my excitement. And his opponents, first, from Los Angeles, weighing in at 175 pounds, TJP! Byron, you strike me as the kind of guy who dabs a lot. Uh, from time to time. Yeah, you know who else does? My 10-year-old kid. It's oh. embarrassing. I mean, TJP's a grown man. Get in there and fight. Stop dancing. Stop posing. Stop reposting compliments on social media. It's a problem. It's a sickness. Okay, uh, well, your anger towards TJP aside, you got to give him his props, Corey. I mean, the guy was the first ever Cruiserweight champion. He basically anchored the rebirth of the Cruiserweight division. All right, I uh -huh. begrudgingly admit you're right on that point. Oh, uh, yeah. High five. Sit down, Saxton. The premier athlete has arrived. Byron, get ready to count abs. You might need to take your shoes off. Come over here. Come here, I want to show you something. This right here, this is why I'm the premier athlete. And let me show you something else. Let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight reasons why I'm the premier athlete. Eight reasons why I'm better than each and every one of you. And from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 196 pounds, the premier athlete. Tony Nese. Look, I, I was as pressed as the next guy when it comes to Tony Nese's incredible physique, but do you think maybe he's a little too obsessed with his aesthetic appearance? I don't know. If I had an eight-pack, I'd show everybody. A man who says he moves like a cruiserweight but hits like a heavyweight. One of the most explosive superstars in the cruiserweight division. The future is incredibly bright for Tony Nese. You ready for a Lucha House party? Yeah, I am. Debuted at 16 years old. And from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds. Grand Metalik. You know what they call Grand Metalik's mask in Mexico? You're going to tell us anyway. An upgrade. Grand Metalik, otherwise known as the king of the ropes, one of the most exciting superstars in the cruiserweight division. As ugly as he is talented. What do you, uh, enough, Corey. Come on. The power of Tazawa. Come on, Byron. Oh, ah, 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 ah. And from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 150.
156 pounds, oh, oh. Akira Tazawa. Here comes the stamina monster. You gotta wonder how much coffee Akira Tazawa drinks, Michael. I'm a big fan of Akira Tazawa, but I have an honest question for both of you. Whatever happened to Tazawa's relationship with Titus Worldwide? Is he still a member, or did he get excommunicated? Oh, he dumped him. He got smart. Yeah. Moved on to bigger and better things. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I've seen narcissism in WWE before, but this cruiserweight, Tony Nese, takes it to a new level. We get it, Tony. You got abs. I smell jealousy. Corey, have you ever even gotten close to having a physique like Tony Nese? Yep. I have abs like that every time I create myself in video games. Inflicting some serious pain here. Jeez. Ow, that hurt. That landed perfectly. Now we have Akira Tazawa on the attack. What's up? And he delivers a crushing bulldog. So damaging. Perfectly executed. Nicely done. He's oh, starting man. to feel it here. He needs Oof. to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken Ooh. too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. He looks a bit off his game here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Wow. The force on that impact was unreal, guys. Now we have Akira Tozawa on the attack. Akira Tozawa just too fast for him. And kicking out is Cedric Alexander. Not yet. Move. Look at him move. What acrobatics. Boom! Michinoku Cedric Alexander into the cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Too soon. Michinoku oh. Absolutely planted. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Look at this, pal. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's on his heels. I bet this is not how he drew this one up. Nothing good happens outside the ring, which is why I love it when guys go out there. Things are going to heat up now, fellas. One move after the other. It's devastating. He got him with a kick. Tozawa on the attack. He's just so dominant. Take over with a snapmare. Oh, yeah, here's Cedric Alexander. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Super kick! Looks like he's starting to tire. It appears his opponent has his number right now. A very crucial part in the match for him here. He's... The pin's broken up. Cedric Alexander is perhaps the most balanced arsenal on 205 Live. He can hit you from the sky with his strikes and toss you into the lumbar check. How do you prepare for Cedric? The injuries happen to everyone who steps in the ring, and when they keep you sidelined for an extended period, you know it's a most serious ailment. Cedric Alexander missed five months with a knee injury. Do the math. Nobody... <laughs> 
This could do it. Alexander's looking to end it. Discuss down with a face buster. Wow, here's a cover. It's over. Victory is on the horizon. He hits a textbook. He's got the shoulders down. One. Oh, he turns it around. Cedric Alexander looking to take the lumbar check. That has got to be it. He has such a wide array of offense from anywhere in the ring. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Got him good with the elbow there. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Going all the way up. Look at this. And TJP too quick that time. Big move coming. Wait for it. Chicken wing gut buster. That might have done it, Cole. He wants no part of the outside. Bang! Detonation kick. That's what he was looking for, Michael. And a pin attempt. Two! Three! And this match is over. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. From the opening bell, this match was one for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner, TJP. Talk about having to dig down deep to 